Klinfelter's syndrome. Now, this uh, syndrome is a, syn a disorder, genetic disorder, which is caused due to the presence of an additional copy of X chromosome. That means it has got something related to the sex because the sex chromosomes are XY in males and XX in female. But what happens here? The result is one additional copy of X. So X, what would be the result? X, X, Y. So there are three sex chromosomes which are present in the individual and total number of chromosomes are 47. Otherwise, normal number is 46. Total number of chromosomes is 47. And such an individual has overall masculine development. Masculine development, why? Because XY is normal. So the, it is a male masculine development, normal. But the feminine development is also expressed. Why feminine development also expressed? Because of this additional X. So what are the feminine development? Secondary sexual characteristics of female are expressed in the male. And this type of uh, sex, secondary sexual uh, characteristics when expressed are called gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is the term which is normally called, used to denote the development, abnormal development of the breast in case of males. So this happens in this individual who are having X, X and Y, three sex chromosomes. And such individuals are sterile. They, these these uh, males are not able to reproduce. They are sterile males. Clear? And what is happening in this? See the karyotype. What is karyotype? Karyotype is the pattern of chromosomes. So if we see the karyotype of this syndrome, you can see here that all other chromosomes are in pairs from 1 to 22. But the sex chromosomes are 2X and 1Y. So additional X is present here. Now how this is possible? Same the dysfunction again. What happens during the meiosis? Both X went into one egg. And the other egg is empty. So this empty egg is not having any sex chromosome. And the one gamete, one egg is having two eggs. Now when this two eggs is uh, fertilized by the Y sperm, it, the result would be XXY. So this is the condition. And in this condition, the masculine development is there with feminine expressions as well. The sexual, secondary sexual characters of females are also seen in these. And uh, they are style individuals. So if we see the symptoms, you can see this. These are the symptoms of uh, this syndrome. Uh, tall stature, they are tall. And slightly feminized physique, they are slightly, they look like females as well. Mildly impaired IQ, IQ is low, below average and tendency to lose chest hairs. Chest hair are not present or they are very few. Then female type pubic hair pattern is present. Small testes, osteoporosis, best breast development can be seen in these kind of males. And poor beard growth, body beard is not there. Then frontal baldness absent. So ye yahan jo baldness hai, that is absent. So all these are the symptoms of this syndrome where there are three sex chromosomes, X, X, and Y. Now the another chromosomal disorder is Turner's syndrome. Now in this disorder also, this is also genetic disorder. And this is caused due to absence of one X chromosome. That means there are in spite of 46 chromosomes, here these individuals are having only 45 chromosomes with X0. 
now as i told you because of the disjunction one gamete is having 2x and one is not having any um x any sex chromosome now that empty egg when it is fertilized by the sperm carrying x sex chromosome the result is x0 and this x0 the 45 chromosomes are present and these females are sterile these females are also they are reproductive activities are not present in these female females menstruation is not there they are not able to conceive they are not able to give birth normal reproductive activities of normal females are absent in these but they look more like females than males because of the presence of x here y is not present so they are they are females they look like females only but they are sterile and they are they don't have the <coughs> capability of reproduction now these females have rudimentary ovaries their ovaries are very small in size and they are rudimentary they are not ovulating the eggs are not produced they lack some secondary sexual characteristics also the secondary sexual characteristics which are present in normal females are not all present in these individuals now these are the um uh, symptoms short stature they are low hairline shield shaped thorax widely spaced nipples shortened metacarpal this uh, hand they are talking small finger nails brown spots and then rudimentary ovaries gonadal streak underdeveloped gonadal structures then elbow deformity poor breast development constriction of aorta fold of the skin and characteristic facial features facially also if you see you can make out that whether um the individual is normal female or not so that's why they are characteristic and no menstruation so these are the symptoms in the person in the individuals who are having turner syndrome and this syndrome is because of the